What's going on everyone? We're at the Garrett booth and I'm with my friend Harut and we're talking about the G25 Turbo. That's right. So the G25 uh, we released last year at SEMA and now we have uh, something new that we're coming out in Q1 for it. So give me the rundown on the redesign of this turbo. Alright, so the G25 is a clean sheet design. We started off with everything new except uh, we retained our uh, ball bearing design. Ceramic ball bearing steel cages and uh, we improved the ceiling with twin piston rings on both sides, oil deflector, deflector on the compressor side. Uh, we have dual water ports on each side to give people flexibility uh, to use uh, whichever water ports they want to, and including uh, an oil restrictor. Is this turbo specifically for an internally wastegated design, or can you use an external wastegate with it? No, so last year we, we released uh, the external wastegate turbine housing, so V-band in and out with 7.2 uh, with AR and 9.2 AR. And this year we're releasing the, in, in the uh, for Q1 next year, we're releasing the internal wastegated designs. Talk to me about the wheel design and the size and maybe the applications you guys can put this on. Yeah, so the wheels are, are, are brand new designs for compressor side and turbine side, uh, both uh, more efficient than the previous uh, generation and higher flowing. So we're, we've just improved upon the previous generation. What kinds of engine applications and car designs can you guys put this on? Right, so in terms of applications, it's good for anything from a 1.8 liter to a 3 liter. That's what we rate it to. And we have the G25 550, which is rated to 550 horsepower. And then the 660, which is rated to 660 horsepower. It's just a bigger, bigger compressor wheel for more flow. And you could put it anything from a four-cylinder to a two on a V6 or two on a V8. Just depends on how much power you want to make and what you want to do with, uh, with the engine to set up the car. And what kind of pressure is the internal wastegate set for? So initially it's set for uh, one bar, which is about 14 and a half PSI. And that can be, it's, it's adjustable a little, but we do have different actuators available as well that you can use on the same turbocharger. Do you guys offer this in just one compressor housing style or do you offer it in multiple? It's, it's one compressor housing style, so it's a hose uh, in, hose out, and we have the, the 550 and the 660 version. So overall, the outline is the same, just a bigger compressor wheel. When would somebody want to go to a bigger AR versus a smaller AR? So going to different ARs on a turbine housing is just based on your displacement and what, where you want the power. You want low end, more low end power or you're looking for a maximum power. For maximum power, you go with the higher AR. For more low-end power, you want to go with the 7.2 AR if you're not going for maximum power. So it's just a trade-off for what you want to do for the application if you're autocrossing, road racing, you know, drag racing, things like that. And is the compressor wheel a billet construction or a cast? So it's a it's a billet. So all our compressor wheels are billet, uh, forged fully machined compressor wheels. When would somebody want to go to a billet compressor wheel versus like a cast? So in terms of performance, there's honestly no difference. It's just the construction and durability. So the, the billet compressor wheels are more durable, like if you're doing more high cycle uh, app type of applications. But also the billet one looks, you know, it's shiny, it looks nicer, so that's, uh, that's what people want. So I'm a little bit of a turbo guy and I'm really curious, what kinds of flanges do you offer on the turbine housing? So the turbine housing for the external wastegate, we have uh, V-band in and V-band out. And then uh, on the wastegated, we have uh, T25, which is a small four bolt flange. We have T4 divided. And we again, we have the, the V-band in and out as well. All right, Haru, if anybody wants to buy one of these turbos or they want more information, where can they go? Yeah, go to uh, garrettmotion.com to see all our products, our catalog, and where to buy the turbochargers. All right, thanks a lot, Haru. And make sure to stay tuned here, Power Auto Media, for everything about SEMA.